Good evening, Avery. Mr. Jonathan, I can't believe my own eyes. Oh, it's a miracle. We all thought you were... Oh, sir, your poor sister. What a tragedy. I know, Avery. I know about my sister's murder. Miss Reed expected you to return to assist with the funeral right up until the last minute. Where have you been, Mr. Jonathan? We needed you here. How is my mother? Not well, I'm afraid, sir. Miss Reed is very fragile since the police brought her back home. The police? What happened? Miss Reed was found walking in the streets. She kept saying she had spoken with her son and daughter. She's resting now. Has she received appropriate medical care? I'm taking care of Miss Reed myself. Hospitals are so overwhelmed by the epidemic that they can only accept patients infected by influenza. Tell me the truth, Avery. Do you feel forced to stay here? Would you leave this house without the arrangement made by my father? No, sir. I have nowhere else to go. And I promised your father I'd take care of his family as long as I live. This house is dead, Avery. There is a curse on this family. You really should consider leaving. If only you could have been here sooner or more often. Maybe this house would not be that empty. But you're here now, sir. So my task is not over. You have served this family extremely well, Avery. Your support during these terrible times is much appreciated. Then I will stay. All I ask is that you take care of my own funeral if I die before the end of the epidemic. No mass grave, please, sir. Goodbye, Avery. Please watch over my mother until I return. Of course, Mr. Jonathan. But please return as soon as possible. Yes, Jonathan? Spending next summer in France. Absolutely. Why not? Mother, good evening. Jonathan, is it you? Where have you been, my prodigal son? I'm right here, Mother. I'm finally home. Yes, for this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and now found. But where is your sister? Where is Mary? Mary? She... She is gone, Mother. I know she's gone. The question is, when will she return as you have? I miss my grandson so much. It's been days since their last visit. Goodbye, Mother. Try to rest now. Goodbye, son. Please come back soon. and I have spoken about your fiancé, Mary. We believe he'll be an honorable husband for you. 
We'll set a date for the marriage then. That way, I'm sure one of my children will give me grandchildren. I understand your thirst for knowledge, Jonathan, and your father and I are proud of it. But you are not that young anymore, my son. When will I meet your soulmate? You can ascribe my romantic tendencies to my French origins if you want, Aubrey. But I'll never cease to believe in a match made in heaven, my beloved. I really wish you could meet her, Mother. You would love her. <laughs>